Hello YouTube, this is Roan with another behind the scenes for Pointless Zombie Fact of the Week. So fact 2, this fact was a lot more simpler I thought. No complex tables and averages and having to play through every single map including transit and dead ops 10 times. This one was a lot simpler. So I came up with this fact because I wanted some of my pointless facts to be about George Romero because he's just one of the collections of the fantastic numbers in zombies just because he's so impossible to kill and all that. And I was thinking that Players always complain. Everyone who's ever played about Call of Duty complains about how tough George Romero is to kill. So I thought, how can I twist that around? And I thought, well, if it takes the player so long to kill him, how long would it take a zombie to kill him? Because, I mean, zombies struggle to take down a player with Kyogonog unless there's a group of them. So how long would it actually take for one of them to take out George Romero, assuming he wouldn't just swat them away? So to calculate how long it would take a zombie to kill him, I first had to work out George Romero's health. Now, George Romero... No now, the health system is based on the average player having 100 health points, and George Romero, depending on the numbers of players in the game, has anything from 250,000 health points to 1 million. And I decided just to get the best number out of it, I would use the 1 million part, even though that would technically mean there would be 4 zombies attacking him. Doesn't matter, just one zombie, but he has his max health of 1 million. So the next thing to do was to work out the damage of a zombie attack because I needed to know how much every swing would take off George's health. And the damage of a base zombie attack is 50 points because two swings knocks a player of 100 points down. Interestingly enough, George Romero also takes two swings to knock a player down but he, but his attacks deal 90 points in damage so you don't notice it if you don't have Kyogrenog but he kills you faster than a regular zombie if you do have Kyogrenog. Just a little bonus fact there. So zombies attack deal 50 damage, then I had to work out how fast they would swing. And it was actually interesting because I assumed there was a zombie animation where they did a few swings, it resets, and then they just repeat that until whatever they're attacking dies. And that's the case in most maps, but because this is George Romero, I decided to use the Call of the Dead zombie as a basis. And I'm not sure if this is just Black Ops 1 zombies in general, because I always assumed, because I always based this animation off Black Ops 2 zombies, but in Black Ops 1, a zombie has this sort of base animation where they deal two swipes, then they reset, and then they do this new animation where they just constantly swipe and swipe and swipe. So I had to work it out in two ways. So the first animation where they would do two attacks and deal 50 points in damage, and then the second animation where they just dealt a constant amount of damage per second. So it took them about three seconds to deal the first two hits, and then they do all the other hits at a constant rate. So that meant that George Romero, instead of taking 20,000 hits, and I guess we work at a constant rate, because there were two different animations to use, I decided that instead of taking 20,000 hits at a certain rate, he would be taking 19,998 hits to be killed at the second rate, and then I would get down to the three and a bit seconds on at the end. So once I had that, I had to work out the rate of swinging for the... Uh, constant attack and that turned out to be something about roughly one per second but obviously yeah it wasn't exactly that let me just look it up it says the initial swing takes a zombie 3.13 seconds to complete and then the the second animation uh, the swings are 0 0.943396226426422 swings per second after that obviously you could probably just round that up to one but i want to be precise so once you work out the average number of swings per second and his health, you can work out that it'll take 19,998 swings to kill him. And if you work that out at the initial swing and the swings per second after that, it comes to 21,201 seconds, which comes down to the final number of 4 hours, 13 minutes and 21 seconds. So when you think about it like that, the players actually have it easy because they can get guns and finish off George within the hour. A zombie will take 4 hours, 13 minutes and 21 seconds of swinging him. But anyways, that's how I calculated it. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. This has been Rowan, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.